Alrighty, welcome back everyone. I am Blaze here. Today's video is the top five Epic 1.0s in EverQuest in terms of their usefulness. How valuable are they? So it's two lists actually. I have my own opinions which are derived from playing on live time lock progression servers and I asked a friend of mine, Lout, what his opinion was on how valuable these Epics are on P99 where he has a lot of experience. And don't fret if I don't mention your class in the top five. I give honorable mentions and a little bit of footage to every other class's epic in this. So let's get to it. So for my number five for TLPs and for Lout's number two on P99, we place the Warrior Epic. It's a very interesting epic because it's two one-hand swords, but it also can be turned into a two-hand sword. And mainly what makes it so valuable is that there's a proc on the two hand and on one of the one hand weapons that increases aggro significantly on a mob. Now on P99, there's not a lot of options that warriors have to significantly boost their aggro generation. There's not a lot of weapon procs that can do that. So this is huge for warriors on P99, just so they can do their job, but on live, there were a lot of features that were added in that makes it much easier for warriors to hold aggro without even weapon procs. And the warrior epics do get replaced by the Blade of Carnage and Velius and by another weapon which drops in the curse cycle in SSRA Temple for the Luclin expansion. Now for number four, for myself and for Lout, we place the Enchanter epic. So this is a six second cast buff that can be put on anybody that has a 30 minute duration and it gives a 66% V2 haste with a bit of agility and armor class bonus. So it's a very good haste. I can get you up to that first cap around 200 and it costs no mana and it has a really long duration. This thing is incredibly useful for groups. This thing's incredibly useful for buffing pets with haste. It's great for raids. And even in Luclin and in Planes of Power, I still see this epic being used by enchanters from time to time. So it doesn't necessarily fade into obsolescence, but it is a difficult one to acquire. All right, for my number three and for Lout's number five, the Magician class. It's a very interesting epic. It's actually a spell. It's a spell which summons a weapon that has one charge on it, but you can continually resummon the weapon so you get a new charge. And what that one charge does is it summons a special pet. It sort of encapsulates all the different core mage elements like fire, earth, water, air, all those. And it's roughly a really hard hitting pet with a very strong damage shield. I think it's more powerful on P99 because I think this pet got nerfed pretty significantly on live. So it does fall out of use quite quickly on live as better spells become available and as well as better companion focuses that boost pet power come into play. Okay, for my number two and for Lout's number three, the Bard. This is probably one of the most unique epics there is. It is, for the longest time, the only thing that a Bard can use that acts as all instruments simultaneously. It's not a very significant modifier, only 0.8, but even into Planes of Power, there is nothing that does what the Epic does. And what's also very great about it, till Planes of Power, it's the only worn piece of gear that can actually modify the singing skill and make it even more powerful. So this Epic makes it so that many songs that actually require an instrument to play are irrelevant. Yeah, on live, those instrument requirements often got taken away, but on P99, it still takes effect. And the other nice aspect about it is it has a proc in combat where it'll, for two and a half minutes it'll give all your group members 55% haste, 30 attack, and 30 strength. And now for number one, for both Lout and myself, the Cleric Epic. And what it is, very simple, it's a 10 second cast, 96% res. 96% experience recovered res. What makes it so valuable is that clerics have that spell for that specific res, but the problem with it is it costs so much mana that it's very taxing. It can really slow a raid down, it can really slow a group down. So having this epic be mana free makes it incredibly convenient. It's really night and day to go from death touching mobs in classic where 
It's restrained for mana to res everybody. To Kunark, where you can just click the epic and res them, and it's no big deal. It doesn't put any strain on Cleric's mana pools. And I don't even know how long it's still useful for. It's still a must-have for Planes of Power and after. Okay, so that's the top five list. Now let's talk about all the other classes and what their epics are in no specific order. So first I'm gonna go over expansion release classes. So the first one is the Beast Lord class, which is released in the Shadows of Lucan expansion. And its epic is pretty much the same as the Ranger's epic. Its secondary gives a 40% haste with a bit of attack and its primary can proc a 55% slow. And then the last class that is added to the game is the Berserker class in the Gates of Discord expansion, which we have yet to reach on Mangler, that's why I don't have any footage of it. And the Berserker class epic is pretty much like the Rogues. It's a 40% worn haste with a 40 attack buff and a little bit of armor class. And now the Ranger epic, the offhand is a 40% haste with a little bit of attack and the primary is a 50% slow and a dot. It's very useful for rangers because they really can't take that many hits efficiently. So being able to slow a mob by half helps out a lot if they have to hold aggro. But it also fades into obsolescence quite quick as rangers go exclusively archery in Lukeland and Plains of Power. The Druid Epic is a 9 second cast snare and dot. It's a 60% snare and a bit of a dot on it that lasts for 3 minutes. That cast timer does seem to be an issue though. The Monk Epic seems to have a insta-cast buff on it that lasts 18 seconds. It's kind of similar to a Bard Song. And it seems to give 40% V2 haste, 40 attack, and a little bit of armor class. I see Monk spam this a lot. The Necro Epic is divisive. So the actual Epic Quest gives you a weapon that has a 9 second cast snare dot on it. It's a 65% snare and a dot that lasts for about one and a half minutes. It's very like the Druid Epic. But many Necromancers actually consider the Morturnum Cap to be the true Epic. It's a 10 second cast life tap dot that heals you. It's a way to easily compensate for life lost via Lich. The Paladin Epic is a two-hander that you can actually bash with and its proc is a little stun with a little direct damage hit. And I believe the prior version of it, there's a two-hander that Paladins can quest for that gives them a complete heal clicky that many other classes like to do. The Rogue Epic is a 40% Worn Haste with 40 attack and a little bit of armor class. It significantly boosts Rogue's DPS when they get it in Kunark and in Velius, but it does also get replaced quite quickly because I believe Tuner has a better dagger in the Velius expansion, and then there's just better weapons from that point on as well. Next, the Shadow Knight epic. Similar to the Paladin, it's a two-hander, but you can bash with it, and it just has a 30-second dot. But there's also another thing that some Shadow Knights consider to be an epic. It's called Green Mist. It's a Kabbalist line of quests. It's a one-hand sword that can proc sort of a stat-stealing buff, but it also has a bane against Shishars, which becomes very useful in the Lucan expansion for when you go to SSRA, where all those Shishars are. The Shaman class is a nine-second cast dot that basically works like a Necromancer Splurt. It builds up over time, so it starts at 11 damage and then goes up to somewhere around the 170s, if not a little bit higher. But it takes about one and a half minutes to build up steam. So oftentimes it's not really that useful. It takes too long to actually do enough damage. Great for long fights, but for short fights, almost useless. And lastly, the wizard class. Their epic has a 15 second cast buff. That seems to provide a bit of a rune if they get hit, and it also has a little bit of mana regeneration so long as it's on. So at the end of this video, I want to thank everybody who watches this. Thank you so much all for the support of this channel, and as well, thank you to all the people in Midnight Rations who helped provide me with all this footage of the epics. It was really fun to make.
I'll see you guys all in the next video.